welcome to today's video, a day in the life of Gambler. So first things first, when we get to the yard, he gets fed. Go back. And I collect in his bucket from last night. And then whilst he's eating his breakfast, I'll take off his rug. Getting them ready to turn them out. Give them a quick check over if you go. And then start filling up his hay nets and uh, emptying his water. So Gambler is my 14-1 Welsh Section D, Black Roan. He is uh, nine years old this year and we've had him since he was three years old and a licensed stallion. So we kept him as a stallion for a bit, but then my kids wanted to do more with him. He's a very laid back and chilled Welsh D. You don't find many like him. So because the kids wanted to do more with him, we had him gelded. He has got six, five, or, I'm sure it's six, five or six um, foals on the floor. Um, but yes, is absolutely brilliant. Gambler is all round the horse. He does absolutely anything. So once we've he's finished his breakfast and I've filled the, and changed his water and filled his hay net, it's time to turn him out in the field. He's always the last one to be turned out because the other ones just get all a bit, a bit excited. He just doesn't care. So he's the last one to go out. And he's no longer clipped this year it's all grown out so he goes out naked not fast are you baby He has a mad couple of minutes running around with the youngster and then he will just wander off and graze. He's very much a food orientated horse, hence why he's such a good doer and is on the overweight side. Um, won't be long before they're out of this field. There is not enough gra grass to sustain them now. So they're only out for a couple of hours before I bring them back in again. Then it's time to make his breakfast and dinner. Dinner for tonight, breakfast tomorrow. And he literally has a handful of char. As I say, he's an extremely good doer and um, is on the chunky side. But the worst thing to do for a fat horse is to starve them. So he literally gets a handful of char in each one and then about a handful of cool mix. Just so he's had something to eat, um, to fill his belly a little bit. And I also don't like not feeding a horse anything when the other's being fed. So that is it. That is all he gets for dinner and breakfast. So then once he's turned out in the field, it's time to muck him out. He is what I class as one of the harder ones to muck out, out, out of the four, even though he looks Really easy, poo there and poo there. He will hide some more poos down here. 
So it's not a dirty horse, not at all, but the other ones are just cleaner, even cleaner than he is. But yes, we'll get on to this now. Once they're all mucked out and quietly grazing in the fields, um, I like to do some odd jobs around the yard. I've got my own yard, so there is always a million and one jobs that need doing. So to give them a little bit more time out in the field, I always do something. So I'm currently working on their summer field, raking up leaves. Well, great fun. So yeah, I'm gonna do that before we bring them in. Then it's time to bring them all in. And what I do, I'll do this gate. Um, what I do is all give them all a quick check over as they come in uh, to make sure no one's bleeding. Yeah, I give them all a quick check over as they come in to make sure no one's bleeding or lame, but then they all go straight into their stables um this is just due to the fact that they're all eager to come in they're all pushing on the gate and um, once you brought the first one in they're all following on behind so they come straight into their stables and then i will go around everyone separately give them a good check over and um, pick out their feet and change any rugs that need changing Gambi! Good boy. It's not food. No. So yes, once he's checked over and knocked out, he gets to relax in his stable for an hour or two whilst I run home. And what on earth is going on here? Um, yeah, I run home and I grab lunch and get some bits done at home. And then I'll be back down again this afternoon. Okay. It's a couple of hours later now, back at the yard. So we're just going to give him a little bit of a tidy up, a bit of a makeover. So I just want to give his tail a quick wash. He's got a really like thick, coarse mane and tail. And in the winter, it's hard to get a brush through the 
through the towel because of the mud so I just want to wash some of that off so we can um, plait it and make it a bit easier to groom him so yeah we do that So it's just this end bit, so that's all I want to wash today, not even up to his tailbone so he doesn't get cold. Right, stand. Gamby. Get it just wet. Bubbles are disgusting. You don't realise how dirty their tails get when they're dark colour. clean water Hopefully, we'll brush through easy you now. Where's the brush? Found it. dry for a minute and then I'll flat that up so it just makes it easier for him. Now we sort out his mane.
This is what we're dealing with with his mane. It's uh, a bit easier to brush through, but this top bit flops over. So what I want to do today is flat this all this side to try and train this bit to come this side again. It done it all last summer. It's just where I haven't plaited it all winter. Um, it's flopped over again, so I'm gonna get going with that one. That's all done. He's in a desperate need of pulling. It's so long. Like he's actually got no shows to go to for a while, so it's not worth pulling his mane till it's uh, nearly show time for him. So yeah, so I'm just going to plait his tail now, and then we brush him. Boy. So much fall, don't you? I don't think this bit through. I'm uh, I've ruined my hair because I've always got it up in the ponytail, and I didn't bring a hair bobble with me today because it's just I've got loads of little bits that are just broken off, and they say it's because I wear it up all the time. So been wearing this clip today but I didn't think about riding the horses I'm not sure whether it's going to stay in it's going to be uncomfortable I just have to keep the hair down um, I could put a platen band in it but I think that defeats the object um, because I think that will rip my hair out more than the hair band anyway so we we'll see what we can do with this. But yeah, I'm gonna set up the pivo and then we'll get going. Stand.
and once he's been ridden, I go around and skip out his stable. I've only poos he's done whilst I was having lunch. Top up his hay in his water and then put his rug on ready for bed. Um, and of course then he has his dinner. Gambler's not the easiest horse to ride um, because he is technically Lewis's horse and Lewis is 13 years old so he lets him drift out a lot in school and drop a shoulder and let Gambler get away with a lot so um, Lewis doesn't want to take ridden competitively they just enjoy hacking out really so I just try to keep Gambler um, get Gambler fit for the in hand shows that they do come summer so he doesn't need to be schooled to a high level or anything like that he just needs to be safe for Lewis as I say Lewis is 13 years old the horse is the same absolute saint of horse he is and looks after Louis as well so that's all that matters so yeah I'm just going to top up his water and hang it and then I'll get mugged up and finish off for the night That's the day in the life of Gambler. I'm literally just going to put him to bed now and give them their dinners. So, uh, no. So if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Thank you.